السلام عليكم we are going to talk about the pediatric VAE surveillance or the VAE for pediatric locations so what are the characteristics of pediatric VAE pediatric VAE stands for pediatric ventilator associated event has been released recently in January 2019 uh, detection of a pediatric VAE is determined by identification of worsening or deterioration in respiratory status after a period of stability or improvement similar to the regular uh, VAE. However, the parameters used to determine the respiratory status are daily minimum FiO2 and daily minimum mean airway pressure or MAP. So, pediatric VAE, when compared to the regular VAE used in adults, it is similar to VAE in the following definition. For the definition of ventilator, uh, date of event, 14-day event date or uh, repeated infection time frame, episode of mechanical ventilation, location of attribution, transfer rule, uh, data analysis. But it is different from the VAE in the following. Use of MAP instead of PEEP uh, uh, measurement for respiratory status. Locations are only pediatric or neonatal ICU. Uh, no differentiation between VAC, IVAC, or possible VAP. No secondary BSI can be attributed to pediatric VAP. And this uh, slide is very interesting. It shows uh, how we can use uh, VAP and VAE. Uh, and as you see, VAE is used for adult uh, locations and pediatric VAE is used for pediatric and neonatal location. VAP surveillance is still available in pediatric populations or pediatric locations, but for adult and neonatal location, if you want to do VAP, you should do it only for internal use or internal benchmarking, not for external use. Eligibility of pediatric VAE. Uh, uh, all these are eligible for using uh, pediatric VAE surveillance patient on a specific modes of mechanical ventilation like, like high frequency oscillatory or jet ventilation HFO or airway pressure release ventilation APRV uh, but the only thing in the second one is uh, MAP cannot be done, you use only FiO2 parameter for detecting uh, oxygenation, uh, oxygenation status. Uh, the second group of uh, eligible for pediatric ventilation, uh, pediatric or neonatal patients who are receiving a conventional mode of mechanical ventilation, ventilation while receiving uh, uh, surfactant, uh, corticosteroid, uh, bronze positioning, nitric oxide therapy, a helium oxygen mixture and ibuprostenol therapy. The following patients are excluded from the pediatric VAE patients on extracorporeal life support or ECMO or paracorporeal membrane oxygenation, non acute care location chronic, as in chronic units in acute care facilities. Uh, pediatric patients and adult location. We, we, we are uh, surveying here pediatric and neonatal locations. Uh, so uh, pediatric patients and adult location should be un uh, under the VAE, not pediatric VAE. Uh, this is the summary for pediatric VAE surveillance algorithm. So you have two days of uh, stability or improvement of oxygenation followed by two days of worsening of oxygenation uh, and uh, the only difference here is we using MAP instead of PEEP and the, uh, the values used for uh, detecting worsening of oxygenation is, uh, is not similar to uh, the adult uh, VAE. Uh, going to the daily minimum FiO2, uh, it is the lowest value of, F, uh, of FiO2 during a calendar day that has been maintained for at least one hour. So if there is no value that has been maintained for more than one hour, then you take uh, the absolute lowest value irrespective of the amount maintained. And if the FiO2 is recorded every uh, frequently every 15 minutes, or 30 minutes, you want to make sure 
that you have more than one hour of recording of FIU2. So if it is every 15 minutes, you need five reading and every 30 minutes, you need three readings. And this is an example of daily minimum FIU2 detection. So here you have every two hours uh, in the first example, you have every two hour reading. Uh, so you take the lowest uh, reading, which is 0.4, because this is anyway maintained for one hour. For the lower example, it is every hour, and then you have to have two consecutive lowest one. The lowest number here uh, is five, and it is maintained for uh, two consecutive readings. So uh, 0.5 is the lowest, the daily minimum of, of FiO2. The daily minimum map, it is the average pressure exerted on the airway and lungs from the from the beginning of, of an inspiration until the beginning of the next inspiration. So the daily minimum map is the lowest value documented during a calendar day, regardless of how long the value is maintained. So the maintenance for one hour is not a requirement for, ma for map. Uh, for, there is distinction between patient under 30 days uh, old uh, and patient who are 30 or more uh, days. For patient below 30 days old, MAP values of 0 to 8 centimeter HAO are considered 8. And any day where the minimum MAP is 0 to 8 centimeters will be assigned a daily minimum MAP of 8. Uh, for patients who are 30 days or more, 0 to 10 centimeter of MAB, uh, of MAB is, uh, are considered equal to 10. So any number between 0 and 8 in a children in the first month would be considered 8, and a children uh, or, or infants in, uh, after uh, 30 days or more uh, would be considered 10. So this is the uh, minimum MAB according to uh, the age. And take this example in uh, uh, infant less than 30 days, and you have here uh, the values uh, 3 a.m., 6 p.m. It's every three hours, basically. And we don't have requirement here of maintaining for one hour, so we'll take the lowest value. And obviously, the lowest value is the 5 at 9 a.m., as you see. So this is the daily minimum map. And since the patient is less than 30 days, any, any number between zero and eight would be considered eight. So when reporting this, you should say eight. So you say five, but between brackets, you add eight. Uh, the same example, but in a patient who is more than 30 days, 30 days or more, obviously the lowest value is five at 9 a.m. So uh, this would be recorded as 10. So what you record is five and between brackets you add 10. So how you meet pediatric VAE definition? You have a baseline for at least two days of a stable or decreasing daily minimum FIO2 or MAB values and immediately preceding the first day of increasing daily minimum MAB or FIO2. The worsening of oxygenation, the patient has at least one of the following. Increase in daily minimum FIO2 by 25 points or 25% over the daily minimum FIO2 in the first two days that was maintained for at least two days. Or increase in daily minimum MAB value more, uh, four centimeters or more uh, uh, over the daily minimum MAB in the first two days in the baseline period that was sustained for at least two days. So although we are using FiO2 similar to the VAE for adults, but the, uh, the, the, the amount that would be considered worsening of oxygenation is not 20 as adult, but it's 25. The MAB is used only in pediatric VAB, and instead of using uh, three centimeter as in B, we use only four centimeter, we use four centimeter uh, uh, in, 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 many, in MAB and make sure that uh, in, in VAE, 0 to 5 is considered 5, here 0 to 8 considered 8, and 0 to 10 considered 10, according to the age of the patient. 
So here an example of uh, meeting worsening of oxygenation using MAB and FiO2 for the first part, you have seven to eight, seven to eight means this patient is under 30 uh, days and any number between zero and eight would be considered eight. So you have four days of eight basically from day one to day four, uh, and then you have 12 in day five and day six. So the MAP increased by four, so it is meeting pediatric VAE, and the first day of worsening, which is day five, would be the date of pediatric VAE. On the second example, looking at FiO2, it was 40-40 in the third and fourth day, and 70-70 on the fifth and sixth day. So it increased by more than 25%. So it's meeting the definition of uh, pediatric VAE, and as you see, this happened, the first day of worsening was in day five, so the date of event for pediatric VA is day five. So looking at this exercise, the patient is a pediatric patient less than 30 days, and you have eight uh, ventilator days, and you have the reading daily minimum MAP and daily minimum FiO2. If you look at uh, MAP, you see seven to eight, seven to eight, and 12, 12. So basically we are meeting the definition since the eight become 12, it is four centimeter increase in MAP. So this is meeting. Um, so this patient uh, is meeting v pediatric VAE based on MAP. As you see here, pediatric VAE is met on the day four because it is the first day of worsening, which is 12. For this example, the patient is 30 days or more, so now the 7 become 10. So if we apply this to the map, 7 become 10, so 10, 10, 12, 12, it's increased only by 2 centimeters. So the, this are not meeting the definition of uh, uh, MAB uh, worsening of oxygenation. So no event is recorded here because the increase is only two centimeters because we consider any number between zero and 10 in patients who are 30 days or more as uh, 10. So 10 to, to uh, 10 increase to 12, only two centimeters. As you see here, we are not meeting the definition either by MAP or FiO2 because even the increase in FiO2 in day four was 25. It was maintained for two days because it decreased again to 50. So, sub so suppose that you increase the, uh, the, the FiO2 increased on both day four and five to 65, which is 25 more than day two and three. So we are meeting now the criteria based on FiO2 and pediatric VAB uh, is uh, pediatric VAE is, uh, is diagnosed at day four. Here we can diagnose uh, pediatric VAE at day four um, uh, based on FiO2. Uh, pediatric VAE analysis. So it is uh, exactly similar to uh, VAE for adults. So you can diagnose, you can create the rate based on 1000 ventilator days or 100 episode of mechanical ventilation. Remember that the using the uh, denominator of episode of mechanical ventilation is actually optional and you can, um, you can do the analysis uh, stratified uh, by location of the ICU. Uh, ventilator utilization ratio is exactly similar to VAB and VAE. It is ventilator days over patient days. And again, you can stratify this by the type of pediatric ICU. Thank you very much.